Okay, I'm going to show you how to use the uh, primer strip loading tool. And the way it comes, it has the handle here, which uh, I'm not going to bother getting it out anyway. The handle you put in there, and then it has this clear cut plastic cover, which you set aside first. And I'm going to load 50 primers into it to show you how this works. <clears throat> so, the way you do it, you take your primer strip, which is the appropriate one, the white strip with the large holes is for large standard prim pistol primers. So you just take the lever and you push it in part way. You see these pins close enough to see it, but you push it in just enough those pins go down and you hold the uh, strip by the uh, clip on the end here. It's shaped like a C. And you push it until it matches up with those. Since I'm going to load 50, let me push that back out part way. I'm going to clip uh, another strip to it here. And the way you do that is you just push them together. And that also allows you to push the strip through. Yeah, right. Yep, strips are lined up. And I'm going to I've already counted out how many primers I need, which will be fifty. So you just dump your primers on the tray. It doesn't really matter how just don't get them over near the end where the uh, holes are where the primer strip is. That was seven, actually uh, 17 primers plus 33 more. So 50 primers and just shake it around a little bit and this is like a lot of these primer flippers it has these little grooves that will uh, catch the primers and turn them handle side up. And they are all now all anvil side up, as you can see here. Since they're all anvil side up, put the clear plastic plate on top. That's that's what keeps the primers from flipping back upside down. This keeps the primers right side up to load. This thing actually works rather well. It's awkward for me to do it the way I am because I'm having to stand strange so I can get in the view of the camera. I didn't want to relocate the camera, so I just did it right here at my press. Anyway. In there, see the primers, and then just roll them back and forth until you see that they're they're not all quite there yet. And you look again, see that they're all lined up with the holes, and they are. When they are, you just take this lever, push it down until it's parallel to the surface. You don't push extra hard; you don't need to. And those primers are now seated. So, in order to push out the first strip, you just push the lever in again, just enough. You can slide that strip out, and then I'm going to use that strip to pull the next one in. And it's there. So I repeat the process. Both primers in there. See the primers are now where they ought to be. And again, push the lever in, parallel to the surface, let go. Now push the lever in again just enough that those pins are out of the way. I slide out both loaded strips and they're there. The nice thing about this is you don't have to use just CCI primers, of course. You can use any brand primers. These are CCI that I'm using, that's what I favor. But uh, that's the nice thing about it. You can use whatever brand primers you like. So that's how you load them.